EJ, when you fed for those three dumps, I think on consecutive possessions, things you were seeing, or were you guys really want to go inside to Tony with their foul trouble? Uh, I mean, I just saw Tony really get in good position down low. Uh, so he did a great job of sealing his guy. And uh, after that first one, I, I saw the look at his face, and I was like, hey, we got to go back to that. And uh, he kept on doing it and got two more easy ones. So those are big plays uh, for us down the stretch. Tony, when you guys seem particularly fired up after, after taking that charge early in the second half and made a nice run after that. Um, again, just the, Altman described it, kind of the zone opening up after you guys a few shots, but um, what, what are your most productive games that you inside had to night? Uh, yeah, it was big for us uh, attacking the zone in the second half, uh, driving um, a little bit past in the first half, I think, with the zone. And uh, we were much better. Uh, I think we're always better at driving at the basket, making plays for each other. AJ, you've been here longer than any of the other seniors. I mean, being down at the half, was it like almost unthinkable to think that you know you could lose to Oregon State the final home game? Nah, I knew we were going to win. Um, we were down by six at their place, um, and we were down by seven. I think it was seven at our place. But um, I, just, I, I had com full confidence in our guys. I knew we would, we would regroup um, in the second half, and uh, we did. Uh, we came out uh, and played really good on defense, got some turnovers, and uh, we executed off, off offensively. So, um, obviously, uh, it was, I mean, I knew that we would come back, and I wasn't really that worried. EJ, you guys are now 6-1 in the Pac-12 play. But we, uh, traveling at the half, and you said you knew you guys were going to win. What is it about you guys that, that can keep doing that and keep instilling that confidence and you'll be able to come back? Um, I mean, that's not what we want to do. Uh, we, we would like to be up at half, but um, I think just our senior leadership in the second half is really, really, really good, and um, just we all step up and uh, we've been making plays down the stretch, and uh, we just gotta switch that. We we gotta start earlier. We gotta keep on um, getting after our guys. We gotta have better starts, especially uh, these last two games um, away at Colorado and Utah. Um, we we gotta start better, so. Uh, it's not something we want to do coming back all the time. Carlos, can you talk about the league race and then your loss were to drop to the second and you win how you're ahead, I guess, at least until you see like plays? Well, I mean, I know that, I mean, we've been in a stretch where we have lost like three in a row. I mean, it's all about like jumping back or bouncing back and making sure that we stay with that positive energy. I mean, like, I, like EJ said, us as seniors are pretty good at bouncing back and making sure that we're all good to go. Carlos, what's been the difference for you in the last couple of games? That's going, that's going a lot um, I feel like I've just been a lot more comfortable out there, just being able to just take in everything, like all the energy, all the criticism, all the everything that's going on around me, and just shut it out and just focus on playing. Arsalan, you finished your career on another double-double here -double. <laughs> uh, in the home crowd. How does that make you feel? Really proud. And it feels good, and I'm glad to finish with the win. And that was the most important part, but <coughs> we still have two games to go, and that's our plan to win the uh, Pac-12 regular season. And I mean, this wasn't just another game that we had to win it to stay on the top of the league. And we, I'm glad we did. Coming back to back to the games for you, your coach just told us it was mainly about just getting you touches, but is there anything else that's really helped you open up the last couple of games? Um, no, I think that's the biggest thing is getting me touches and uh, getting involved in the game. Uh, any player, uh, when you get the ball and score, you, you know, you're more energized, more, uh, just more into the game and looking to do more stuff. So I think that was the biggest thing, just uh, get more touches. How did the offense feel when Dominic got back out there with you guys? Um, I'm not sure that I played with Dominic a lot um, on the floor. I don't, I don't remember playing a lot with him. Were you out there, EJ, with him? When he, uh, when he, I mean, he only played 12 minutes. But. Yeah, he didn't play that much, but, um, you know, obviously uh, he's been a great player for us uh, early on. It's going to take a little bit for him to get back in shape and kind of get back in the groove, but um, uh, we all know he's a great player, and uh, hopefully – uh, he can come back and give us some more minutes against Colorado and Utah.
Charlie. Tony's, when the when Davey went down, did you take it on yourself to become more of a scoring threat to, to go out there and, and kind of pick up the load? When Damien went down, it kind of more frustrated me than anything because I know Damien is definitely a great basketball player. I mean, top freshman in the country. So, I mean, I guess I just wanted to take the game and put it into his shoes and play through him, you know, play through his pain because I know he'd want to go out there and continue to play if he could. Was there a moment in the second half or stretch when you guys felt the momentum of the I mean, like, I mean, I could always continue to go back to EJ. I mean, like I said, uh, the second half, I just knew we were just going to come and just run them over. I just had confidence within all of us that we would come back and win this game. You guys put together a nice run and then had a, had a lead. You just kind of held on to, to the stretch. In, in those final few minutes, did you kind of get one last look around as fans and the uh, and the building and take soak it in, or were you just still focused on the game until all Um, I definitely uh, took a look around. Not not when the game was going on, but uh, right. uh, you know, coming out of timeouts and stuff, I, I really soaked it in. And um, you know, playing in front of this crowd was great. I thought they helped us in the second half a lot. Uh, when we got a, some turnovers, they really picked us up and uh, kind of got our defense going. So. Um, uh, it was just, it was a great night, great game tonight, and great crowd. I think uh, I think the crowd was great tonight, and uh, I, I, I soaked it up definitely. How did Moreland's you know offensive foul and technical foul affect you guys? Um, yeah, I guess I'll speak to the uh, <laughs> um, The charge definitely got us going. Um, and when you when you do things like that, it, it's kind of contagious and catches fire with with uh, other guys. I believe we got another charge, a couple of possessions after that. So um, that definitely got us going. Um, and uh, the other the other play you mentioned, what was that? Well, it was, it was the technical foul right after that that Moreland got right after the charge. Oh yeah, those are those are big energy plays for us. They get us going, give us the ball, and uh, two shots. So two Tony, for did us. You keep your head on the, on that play, or what was the it goes back for a couple minutes. Oh, uh, I just got the win knocked out of me. Took a knee to the um, chest on the charge. Any more questions for the guys? Okay.